I'm Dr. Sunil Hindoucha. I've been a GP in Lincoln for over 20 years uh, and I'm also the Chief Clinical Officer for RCCG. I think for me as a GP, what I'd like to see are patients getting the very best treatment at the best possible time. So for example, if you have a broken leg, then absolutely you need to go to accident emergency and get that uh, investigated and treated. However, if you then end up waiting because there are other people who could use services such as pharmacies or general practice, then that makes everybody's treatment that much more expedient and also more appropriate. So what I'd like to see are people being aware that if you have some common symptoms of a cold or earache or sore throat, the pharmacist will be your first port of call. Something that might involve a long-term condition such as diabetes or asthma may be more appropriate for your general practice to, to treat because they have your full record and only use accident emergencies for those two things if you have had an accident or an emergency such as a stroke or a heart attack. And I'm also fully aware that there's an awful lot of media coverage about not going to accident emergency but I'm very clear that we should be giving patients the information to make the right choice. And that's what this campaign is about, giving patients enough information so they make the right choice. My name is Councillor Alan Kane, and I'm Coordinating Member at West India District Council for Health and Community Safety. The first thing, obviously, to, to look at when trying to choose which direction to go and seek help in is to find the right course of action because if you say go straight to a and e and you haven't got a problem that needs immediate attention a you could be taking up room for somebody who does need immediate attention and you could land up waiting hours and hours and hours because people in real need are being treated first if you then look at is it something that can wait till i see a gp do I need to bring 111 and take their advice? Or do I go to a minor ailments clinic? And there are a few dotted around the whole of West Lindsay. Um, obviously in Gainsbury, you've got the minor unit at uh, John Coupland, but there are other out of hour surgeries at Lincoln, at Scunthorpe, Grimsby and Louth. My name is Claire Crudland. I'm one of the matrons in the North West Business Unit. My services include the facilities at the John Copeland in Gainsborough and also the walk-in centre on Monks Road in Lincoln. The walk-in centre and the minor injuries unit provide patients with minor illness and minor injury help and advice. So if you've got cut fingers, sprained ankles, shoulder injuries, coughs, colds, um, potential urine infections, they're the sorts of minor things that those departments can see and treat and the staff that work there are experienced and skilled in being able to manage those. Those departments are surrounded um, in their local communities by lots of other providers, so there's the bigger hospitals, the local pharmacies and dentists, and we're more than happy to speak to people about their symptoms and if we can't manage them we will work to make sure the patients get the right advice or get signposted to the right services. So we have our services that we offer and then we fit in within our local communities with everybody else. In relation to the minor injuries unit in Gainsborough, obviously some injuries may mean that a patient needs to have an x-ray. And at Gainsborough we do have x-ray facilities on site Monday to Friday, 9 till 5. So if the practitioners saw a patient and they thought they needed an x-ray, then they would be able to provide that. There are some restrictions in that, but obviously we will advise the patients at the time if that was the case. I'm Melissa Hall. I'm from Bracebridge Heath in Lincoln. Now I'm aware of the Choose Better campaign. It has made me think about what I would do if we had illness at home, if I was ill or a member of the family was ill. Um, so it has changed my views. Um, so I'm quite clear now on what I can do at home, when I should go to the chemist or when it might be appropriate to call 111. I think I would always look, first of all, to do self-care and see what I've got at home. So if I was in pain after a bad fall, I'd take some paracetamol to start with. But if it carried on after a couple of days, then I might get some further advice and call 111. I've made sure that the medicine cabinet at home is stocked up so that if we do get ill at home, we haven't got to go out and go and buy paracetamol and ibuprofen and pyroton. So I'll make sure that I have those in the house. Um, in case we do need them in an emergency.